my channel, DIY with Sarah Renee. My name is Sarah. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We are going to do a Hobby Lobby haul. I walked through Hobby Lobby taking lots of video about the things that they have to offer for the Christmas season. Um, and I got really excited and went ahead and purchased quite a few things. So first off, I'm gonna show you our little walk through, our little tour of the decor that's available at Hobby Lobby right now. And then we'll get into the haul of everything I purchased. Please make sure that you like this video and that you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a whole lot. So if you're excited to go do some hauling, <laughs> come on with me. So first off, I got some wrapping paper. <laughs> I got some wrapping paper. I don't know about you, but I always find when I'm wrapping presents for Christmas, for whatever reason, I have about this much left of my roll from the previous year. So I did grab two really beautiful wrapping papers this year from Hobby Lobby and all of their Christmas decor was 50% off. So I did grab quite a few things, especially our essentials for the Christmas season. <laughs> the next thing I got is for a project that I have in mind that I'll be sharing with you on my channel here in the next couple of weeks. And that involves this foam the styrofoam um, in the shape of a cone. I have a few already that are just a hair bit bigger than these. This one is a 2.75 inches by six inches. And I think the other one that I already have is three and a half by seven, maybe three and a half by eight, maybe. <laughs> um, so I needed a little bit smaller and then they only had one left of the large cone here. And this one is 4.75 inch by 17.9 inch. So almost 18 inches here. And I am excited to do my DIY with these foam pieces. I'm really anxious to get this one started, but I got some foam for that DIY that I have in mind. And then the next two pieces are also for DIY projects that I have um, in store for this Christmas season. So the first one was this Nutcracker painting kit. I love <laughs> that it's this natural wood for the actual Nutcracker figure. So if I can be completely honest with you, I don't care about the paint or the paintbrush that comes included. <laughs> I just wanted the actual nutcracker because it was already in this beautiful natural wood that I'm going to display out with my decor this year. 
you know anything about me so far on this channel or on my Instagram. Um, I love natural, neutral decor. I like textures. So case in point, right? <laughs> So I grabbed this as one of the DIYs that I have in mind for our Christmas season this year, as well as this cutie patootie right here. <laughs> this is also um, a nutcracker. You can see his little <laughs> his little mouth going. But what's really cool about this one is it also has the countdown days till Christmas. I thought that one was really, really cute. Um, I do have a DIY planned for this Nutcracker. I am not a huge fan of really cartoony colored painting. Um, so that's got to go. And also this glitter. No, thank you. <laughs> but um, I loved the, the counting the days down. I loved the little tree and his little hat. So I have big plans for you, sir. I'm really excited about those two nutcrackers for some DIY crafts uh, for this season. Were these two things that secretly I'm like, do I need to put them in my son's room? Because I really think they're cute, but more than likely, no, they will be going in my son, my son's room. He loves dinosaurs. He loves fossils and oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> we have a Triceratops head fossil as well as a T-Rex head fossil. These were also 50% off at Hobby Lobby today. So I really lucked out with both of these. I can not wait to see his face when he, when he sees these. He's going to flip. He loves dinosaurs. He loves fossils. He's going to love these. So these were really like diamond in the rough. These are the only two left. Yay, <laughs> win for me. <laughs> Getting back on the Christmas decor though, I did find this precious little Santa here who I also have some plans with. I really liked how stout he is. <laughs> um, I loved the his beard. I thought that that was perfect for this piece and his cute little button face. Now I'm not a huge fan of the cartoony type of look as I just stated with the Nutcracker, but he looks, not so harshly cartoony. Um, I really liked him. Uh, there is a little bit of paint on his hand, so I do already have plans for this piece here to kind of make it more my own. So that didn't bother me that much, but that little Santa, I like him. <laughs> and now we're gonna get into some of the trees that I got for this year. They had a really nice selection of their Christmas trees at Hobby Lobby today. All different kinds, from the mercury glass trees to the ceramic light up trees. The only kind of tree that I did not find today that I was actually looking for were natural wood trees. Um, I didn't even care if they were stained. I didn't care if they were gloss painted. I just wanted some more natural wood trees um, that Hobby Lobby didn't seem to have today. Will they have in the future? Maybe, but they didn't have them today. But I did find quite a few cute little trees. The first two are these right here. I love the faux snow on them. They are just under 10 inches from base to tip. Uh, they are very lightweight and they are also that kind that everybody seems to like nowadays. I'm really sorry. I don't remember what they're called. I was sitting here racking my brain trying to remember what this type of material is called, but I can't remember. But they're really cute. Again, I like this faux snow. They do look more realistic than some of the others that I saw there, which is right up my alley. So um, these were really cute. Can't wait to incorporate those. And then this is one of the first trees that I saw coming into the store today. I love the four tiered tree levels up to it. It is a nice ceramic, it's hollow on the bottom, very lightweight, but I love the texturing and the distressing that it has um, all around. And this like sagey kind of green is very near and dear to my heart. I really, really like it. So that was another one. I did find these nice little ceramic realistic type of trees here. This one is just under nine inches and it's got a pretty good weight to it. There are different shades of green painted on this tree. So it really does give it some dimension and some depth. So if you really like the nine inch tree, they also have an almost 25 inch one. <laughs> 
which I also grabbed up and I, oh, this one was my favorite purchase of the day. Um, this one's almost 25 inches. Again, it does have that dual color green painting on it. So it does give it much more depth than just one solid shade. It definitely weighs a good amount. It feels very heavy, very sturdy. Um, I really, really liked this one. I liked that it was also pretty thin in its look. It wasn't just like a fat tall tree. It was a really thin tall tree and I really liked this one. This again was probably my favorite purchase of the day and it has its little baby. So mama tree and baby tree. <laughs> um, very cute. Very excited to put these out. Um, is anyone else ready to just like decorate for Christmas? Go ahead and celebrate Thanksgiving because we all need to be thankful for things that have gone in our life or over the past year. We should be thankful for those things, but go ahead, pop a tree in there too. That's what I would like. <laughs> then the last thing I got today was this Oh Holy Night lyric artwork. I love this song anyway. Truly, I love Christmas music. I'll listen to it any time of the year. It does not matter. I love it. Um, but I love the simplicity of this art piece. I love the, there is a good like texture to it. And in, I know you can't hardly see it on the, on the actual screen, but in real life, it does help to kind of give it again some dimension. So I really, really liked that. I love just the like painted natural wood looking outer frame and just very clean, very easy to read. Love the, even the font. I really liked the font. And again, just that simplicity. I really like that because I mean, you can add something to it and it makes it so much more. So I really liked this piece. To be honest, I am really happy with everything that I got today. I liked the selection that Hobby Lobby had for us today. And again, all of the Christmas decor was half off. Even those dinosaur heads were half off. So yay, we really lucked out today. So thank you so much for joining me on my Hobby Lobby haul today. Please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel. It makes me so happy when I see someone new joining on into my adventures. So thank you so much and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.